Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So in the last episode we have captured Kumba, the border world of the Unfallen. And right now we are starting to... We are attacking the system of Kras, the home world of the Unfallen. We've got still one behemoth here, and after that we will still have to wither down their manpower, but this is their last system. The other ones have been taken over by pirates, so I believe they don't count. I am also eliminating this pirate fleet here to save the system from uh, fr from them and to stop that mm, loss of population and system improvements. And when we're done with that, we're gonna capture this one as well, and those two, Yersh and Imnas. And this will allow us to increase the amount of planets we have to uh, plus 4 to 27. After what we're done with this part, I believe then our next bet will be to start invading the United Empire and to capture some of their systems. Okay, looks like the bolters are invading Ion. Hmm. Okay, they didn't ask for help there. They uh, they're asking for help at Oyera. Right now, I'm not going that way. So let's see. Okay, we can attack another pilot pirate ship. So let's remove it. Okay. Okay, we didn't find anything here. Columba is full of enemy ships, so let's send our explorer down to this neutron star, and after that I'm gonna send it down this way into the United Empire territory. Well, here, let's attack this other behemoth. There we go. Debris field. Okay, so now we are slowly wearing these guys down. Let's blockade the system. I'm gonna need to get that second fleet up there to boost that attack. Our best bet will be to create a new fleet from our ballista ships and send them over there as support. And that's what I'm gonna do because they have no use in a fight in a ship battle. Okay, five at second elegant shoal, so now because we have bigger is better. Hmm. Let's grab this. Hmm. Okay, never mind. It increase, increases the damage output as well as the shield capacity, plus allows to use the bigger is better battle strategy. So let's apply this. And let's end the turn again. Okay, one hacking ups. <coughs> let's do it like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's start hacking Crass again. I'm gonna remove this back door here. Get to Kuma to free up a little bit of bandwidth. Okay. So let's skip one turn and and turn. Okay, we lost another Calgaros population unit here. Not that it matters much, but still. As you are friends of the faithful, it pleases us to make this proposal. May the virtuals bless you. Hmm. Honestly, I have my doubts about this. 
Well, we are cordial. You're next on the list. Or rather, your allies are. I'm gonna refuse this tree. Okay. Now here, fifth radiant shell, our seeker hero. So let's grab the second level of post-realistic targeting here. Now Ruthian at Shaddai. Got the joy initiative already. So we've got three of those wit upgrades still available. Let's take a look. What do we have? Got the transformational leadership, that's for one. And the other one? Hmm. Can't quite tell, honestly. I'm gonna pick, pick these as last. Because they are no use at Shaddai, since there are no resources there that we could utilize. So I'm gonna start grabbing the transformational leadership. And again, we've got a lot of... Got a lot of stuff to do. Eta 2 is, is a monsoon world. Let's upgrade it further. We can turn it into a terrain or into a forest world. Let's pick the forest one. I'm gonna send this single Calgaros population to the monsoon world here. Hmm. Let's see. This planet will be fertile in a moment. Generate extra food. We could turn that exoscience stations into a uh, 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 what is it? Evolved soils with chlorophyll chemistry done. It will upgrade into aquaculture dome, which will boost that food income into three per population units plus three on fertile. Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's move the fleets again. Let's, let's pick up those pirates. Well, here we are still gonna wait for that finish. Get some counter remains here. A little bit of dust. Okay, now the militarists have some hmm, presence here in the surveys. And you got still two systems where we could pick some upgrades. Corvus is one of them. Let's grab the interspecies cooperative. could also pick the well-being foundation, I suppose, and Mira, system where the Vadiani are running around. Okay, we should reorganize our population a bit. Now, the Horatio worked best in the hot worlds, the Unfallen on Fertile Ones, so let's send them there. Hmm. The Pidiani were good there, here and there, while the Calgirls work best on Fertile as well. Okay, let's leave it like that. Now let's see. Let's grab a level 3 modernization, let's do that. And then I'm gonna start building the Skyward Dwellings and the Nana Cuisine Plant. Okay. That's good enough. All is done here. Let's take a look at our ships. Skip a turn. Mm, don't see anything here. 
However, there are no curiosities there as well. There are some at Yersh, so, but I don't want to send it to Revealer not knowing what's there, so I'm gonna send a probe first and see if there are any pirate fleets. After we know that, I will potentially send the scout that way. Okay. So let's skip a turn. Let's blockade the system and end turn. Okay, Shargon is. We'll complete the turn. The quest in for four turns. Okay, Shargon proposed the truce. Hmm. I need to refuse this. Okay, we've got a battle at Shaddai. When did they manage to get that fleet over there? Cannot, can't quite tell. Good thing is that I have at least a couple of my veteran medium ships over there. And what do they have? Those ships are all short range. Hmm. So we will want to go long range either way, so... Mm. Part of shots won't cut it. Could go for take trophies or brush fire. Okay, let's go for brush fire. Okay, we lost two ships while destroying two of theirs. Could have been better, but still. Hmm. Let's combine these these fleets for now. Okay, another level up, and our hero at Corvus. Let's grab Rousing Orator now. I want that influence here to push those borders back. Okay, another Calgaros population in the lots that Kuma. They're still still quite mutinous. After we're done with the interplanetary transport network, I'm gonna grab the sustainable farms. And after that the predictive logistics. Okay, now Ita is done with terraforming. Which is good. We could start building a, an obelisk here. It'll take a quite huge chunk of our resources, but still, it could prove useful. And it will always be something to do for them. So let's start building the obelisk. Harmony on Iron have been s simulated by the Volters. Okay. In two turns, these two carrier ships will arrive, and that will change this situation here quite a bit. Okay, now let's see what we have here. There's a subterranean curiosity. We got some resources here. Or a Halkex looks like it. Now let's pull back down to, to Ashi. Let's remove another pirate ship and the next turn we'll be done with this. One more turn. Okay, let's skip a turn. Could attack here, or we could wait for reinforcements to arrive. Hmm. Can't 
quite tell what do they have here. Hmm. Compared to mine. Well, we could try it. It's quite probable that we will lose the ship with few. It's also quite probable that we will destroy their ships, so... Let's destroy them. There we go. Okay. Let's go this way. Skip one turn and end turn. One more turn till that probe arrives at that system. In the meantime, here at Otero, can go for the dust. I suppose that's one of the better things to pick here for now. So let's pick the dust upgrade. Now we can pick a few additional upgrades here. System is already full, looks like it. So we can build a super biofuel factory. Now that we're done with that, the punctuated evolution foundation would be good. Could also terraform one more system into a further one. Although a tree might prove good for that, I suppose. So let's start terraforming it as well. Okay. Now Induza. Okay, we can upgrade it into a level 2 colony, so let's do that. Let's build the Skyward Dwelling since we're already full here. And after that, I'm gonna start building some food upgrades. At least some basic ones. And the, mm, the AI labor might also prove useful. Actually, let's focus on that first. And we need to do something about our approval since it's only at 66%. So let's grab the infinite supermarkets, glorification of the gorgeous, colonial rights, and we're gonna see where that leads us later. Okay, so now we are draining the manpower from the system much faster thanks to those ballistas on the right here. Okay, let's remove this last pirate ship. Hmm. Okay, we need to colonize it, huh? So I'm gonna prepare a beautifier quickly and send it that way. Hmm, actually... Can't we? Potentially upgrade this ship with some better engines. Basic warp drive. No, we only have the basic warp drive available, so they can't go any faster. <laughs> Not currently, at least. Okay, after we're done with these, I'm gonna build the biofuel factory and the autonomous administration. Could move that exactor, push it back, because it's not that necessary for it to be well first. Okay, and let's end turn again. Okay, there are some vine ships here. However, they have no attack power, so. And send my revealer over there and check that system out. 
the meantime, I'm gonna pull this fleet back to cross. Well, at Cohab. Lucky Windfall might prove good, but let's take a closer look. Cohab, Cohab. There are no resources here. So we don't need to pick the vanity markets. Food is also not the highest priority. Could go for the windfall. Let's do that. And another couple of upgrades here to do. Let's build some science specializations here and there. And after that, let's see, we got three sterile worlds so we can benefit from the AI labor. And after that, the skyward dwellings. And we're gonna colonize this toxic world of Scythe 1. We could actually prioritize this over the skyward dwellings, so let's do it like this. Okay, now our exactor ships have arrived. Could send them down to cross. I suppose I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna reorganize my fleets again. Okay. Looks like, yeah, Kuma is over that mutinous approval from the ownership. So now we could grab some food. Also go for the AI labor, but not now. Because we only have the system here. I'm gonna grab some of these upgrades. Glorification of the gorges and colonial rights. Okay. Now let's see. What for curiosities are over here? Diplomatic immunity. Hmm. And they've got some transvine over there as well. Okay, now that we're done with this, I'm gonna send this explorer to Aquarius and try to check those curiosities out. Now, Gienna. Need to grab another planet. You can buy it out actually, so we have enough money for that. And let's build some food upgrades here. Sustainable farms first. The intense cultivation logistics second. And they are unhappy. Okay, we could seduce them. Let's do that. We're gonna need to work on the approval here. Colonial rise will take 10 turns to be done. This is a warm gas planet. We need more industrial plants, so let's do something like this. Okay. Now let's put them to sleep here. We don't have anything else to check over here, only that curiosity at Kalumba, but we don't have access to that system due to the vast amount of pirate fleets over there. 
However, we can build some stuff at the forest. So let's do it with the Super Biofuel Factory and the Interspecies Cooperative. It'll take a while for that to be, to be done, but could potentially grab the fabrication license to boost that, so let's do it like this. And we can transform some of these planets into, a, into fertile ones. Here, let's terraform it into a Terran world, and here into a forest one. Okay, let's do it like this. And let's end the turn again. Okay, structured antimatter done. So now we have access to antimatter antimatter intensifiers. I'm gonna use that to my advantage in a moment. And it looks like we've got another ship, another fleet here. Now that's a bit of a bummer, and I need to support that in place. So let's go for barrage fire this time. Let's see how this ends. Major defeat. That's not good. Need to disband this fleet and start preparing some additional ships. We can also upgrade some of them, especially the upholder. Looks like we also have some free slots which I've neglected to change. So let's see. Now we could use the Maggie laser in the heavy slot. I intend to do so. Also we have some a phased beam. Could use the cleaver. Or the pinch beam. Potentially the gluon beam. Last but not least, let's let's grab the advanced positron torpedoes probably, or maybe the decay ones. No, the positron ones. Okay. Now defensively, this is our guardian ship, so. Titanium shrapnel, AI slugs, quadrinex gear, hmm, the mantin jammer, antimatter lenser. This one's better. Okay, now some shielding. Can I grab some additional iron planing? Okay, let's apply this design. Okay, our weapons and tools can also be upgraded, so let's do that. got one universal slot, three defense slots, hmm, this is an attacker ship, so let's use that intensifier here, and I suppose that's good enough, now the tool, this one's a bit more tricky to use. You could use the turret inter interference missile here. Let's use that. You could use another one potentially. Okay. 
Okay. Now this plating and shielding. And what else here? I can grab a titanium shrapnel for support. Hmm. Grab a jammer just to reduce the chance of being targeted. This is more of a utility ship now. It's not intended to take any fire here. So let's apply this. Blockade the trade rules on Shaddai. This imposer can upgrade the weaponry here, so let's do that. Okay, the Maggie laser. Could use the pinch beam, anti gluon beam. Let's use the pinch beam here. I'm not gonna do anything with the shielding in this case because that's not necessary. However, I'm gonna install this anti-matter intensifier. Hmm. Could potentially install a kinetic enhancer as well. So, or Halkix one. This will improve the military power quite tremendously. Okay. Let's apply this, and no changes to these. Okay, let's keep it like this. All said and done here. Mira is slowly growing. Send the scout girls over here. Mira free. Salary of Domus has been promoted to another level, so let's grab the Vanity Marcus. Because that side will have access to these endless foundries. And we need to colonize this planet. I'm gonna speed this up to get quicker access to these resources. Should have done that much sooner, I suppose. Okay, adaptive colonies for sighted crops and enhanced comms class hull. Now let's see also. Can auto upgrade some of our ships. First I'm gonna edit them, especially these glass cannons since they are quite outdated already. And one Maggie laser. Gonna pick defense modules for last. Here I'm gonna pick or a Halkix Enhancer. Now the defense module. Or modules, I should say. Okay. Let's apply this. We're all set. Okay, let's start building the ships. And I need them. One upholder, one, one imposer. Or two of those. It'll take three turns to prepare this fleet. Once that's done, I'm gonna send it out. They should be able to finish them without much trouble. Ok, 
Okay. One more turn and then gonna hit them. Or what am I saying? What I wanna say is that one more turn and I'm gonna end this episode. Okay. And we've got another election coming in. So let's continue. Okay, we're all set here. No changes in the government. Hostile trace detected at the cross. Not too surprised. Hmm. Let's try to overload them, although I doubt that this will work. Hmm. And we didn't manage to finish Ghosts and Heroes. Kuma compromised. That's also not surprising. And a bunch of level ups. Got Crowd Controller, you got Clone Wares. And you got Conscription Genius. Let's grab Crowd Controller or no, clone wares. Okay, here on the other hand. Let's grab more influence. Rutian and Shaddai. Let's grab the transformational leadership here. Okay, all of this is done here. All of this is set. Let's see here. I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm gonna go below 1500 and then I'm gonna invade. Hmm. Let's move the fleets. Slingshot. Let's study. Got still three ships here and there. Could potentially try with these, but gonna disband this one and wait till we get some extra ships and then I'm gonna dis destroy that fleet. Let's see what for curiosities we've got here. There's a couple of them, some ruins and lost cities, even more of them, pretty nice, I must admit. Okay, so we're all set there, so let's pull it back, I'm gonna disband this revealer here. I'm not gonna use it for anything, right now at least. And since we are already over time, I believe it's time to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around!